everyone, welcome back to Art a la Carte. And in this episode, I am going to go through one of my um, just finished sketchbooks. So I started this, let's see if I have the date in the hair. Let's see. I started this one almost a year ago, so February 24th, 2015. So this sketchbook here was one that I did a lot of doodling in, a lot of concept drawings, and you'll find a lot of the pieces that I did tutorials on are in this book here. I got this sketchbook at a store called Ross, which is an odd place to buy art supplies, but I find that my Ross actually has some really good art supplies in it. Um, and every once in a while they have really good sketchbooks. And so I found this one I was really excited about. Um, so I like this one because it is a nice size. Let me back this up a little bit so you can see. I'm right so far. So that's, you know, so it's, it's a good size sketchbook, but not overwhelmingly large. As you can see on the front, I went ahead and decorated it with several different stickers that I have received. Some of them from you guys because I love stickers. So when I get letters and cards from you guys, sometimes you will sneak a sticker in there for me. So um, some of those stickers I got, I put on here. A lot of them I put on my pencil sharpener. Um, and then this one actually is one of my stickers that I bought off my Redbubble shop. So let's get started with the sketchbook. So this is the first piece. Now you're going to find that in this, um, I had just started getting into alcohol based markers and had purchased the Spectrum Noir markers. I've since switched over from those markers to Copics. Um, if you want to find out a little bit more about that journey, I'll put a link to the my Copic story um, video in the description box below. You can check that out. I think I did a mixture of, yeah, I did, um, at the time I only had the grays for the markers so the rest of the uh, picture is done in color pencils. I use Prismacolor brand color pencils. Um, this piece has nothing because it kind of bled over a little bit so I don't want to put anything on that. So here is kind of a trying to turn the same character around a little bit. That's a really fun exercise. I really like this piece. This piece was really fun to do. It took me quite a while, several different days to do it. I kind of wish I would have done it on um, I mean, this is okay paper, but it's not the best paper. Um, I wish I would have done it on some Bristol or something like that. But um, yeah, she's very pretty. Um, done all in colored pencils. This was my tribute to um, Spock. I love this one. I did a tutorial on this one. Another grayscale uh, drawing here, just kind of a character design. Um, sometimes you'll see in my sketchbooks just halfway finished pieces and this is one of them. So I was working on an Alice idea and so drew this up but didn't finish it. But kind of working also on like the line weight for the drawing and stuff like that. Just practices. Another Alice drawing. Really kind of working on the fabrics and the flow of the fabric. A little note. I like the flow of this dress. So that's what sketchbooks are all about. Just practicing out ideas. So here I did one in just red cool race uh, colored pencils. Um, did a kind of a series of a curl on a very windy day holding an umbrella. Another piece done in my gray scales. I find that the Spectrum Noir markers bleed over. So like I drew it on this page and it was completely dry, but I don't know if you can see, it has just this faded like contamination of the ink which is okay but if you're wanting to do like you know really high quality pieces or professional pieces um you definitely don't want that so here's another piece i didn't do any of the shading here i did a little bit of shading with the uh with the color pencil but didn't do any shading with like the markers or anything she's kind of cool looking she looks like she has a secret Shh, don't tell anyone. Here is a page of just different faces. I think I was looking at some reference photos of, of different angles of faces and things like that. I will often do sketches like this to kind of warm up um, before I do a you know really intensive piece and just kind of gets my hand going a little bit. Oh, the proverbial eye. That's what I, I always seem to draw when I am practicing something. So I was trying to get the markers to kind of bleed out like I, you know, and blend like I do with color pencils. So it's just practicing that. I really like this page here, um, this character design. I like the outfit, I like the colors with it. She'll probably become a character in one of my stories. 
So I did this was a tutorial on how to draw cats and I kind of based it off of a Warriors cat series. So yeah, but I didn't tell anyone which one it was. I'll let you guys vote and you guys voted that it was the one I was thinking of. So yay. This was fun. I was trying character drawing. I don't do a lot of character drawing, um, but I went and found some really fun pictures and these were the two people that I drew. It's kind of fun. A masked ballerina. Ballerina by day, superhero by night. Oops. More sketches. She looks kind of grumpy. But I like this pose. It's a really cool pose. And again, just working and practicing with the markers. This one's fun. I wanted to get this like really like kind of stylized elephant and then throw a little baby in at the bottom. <laughs> I flip my sketchbook upside down, backwards, inside out, however I want, however it feels right for my hand. This piece is really weird to me. I don't know what I was thinking when I was drawing it. Um, it's cool. It's really narrow. Um, and I don't know what this is with her hand. I just wanted her to do something funny with her, or not funny, but weird with her hand. And so I just, I did that with my fingers. And went, oh, that looks cool. So it's the symbol of welcome from her village. She's welcoming you. I guess. I don't know. It's weird. So then a little Shopkins. I guess I'm sure Eva and I had gone out Shopkins buying and they're just so sticking cute so I drew a Shopkins. Here is a warrior I did. I'm trying to do, you know, you don't want to stick with the same thing that you always draw. You want to always be pushing yourself to draw something new. So I always draw a lot of, you know, soft feminine things. So I thought I would try to draw, you know, a really cool warrior. And I use this metallic pen. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, kind of give his armor some metallic uh, look to it. And that's really fun. I like the color that I put in the background. just really pops it out. Really. And then here's my black ninja. He kind of looks like Kylo Ren, but it was way before the Star Wars movies. On my bonsai tree, I think I have a video on this. I know I recorded it. I think there's a video on it, though. I'm not sure. And then you're also going to see a lot of drawings that I did for my 100 drawing video that I did when I reached 100,000 subscribers. So here is my Discord. Only I forgot one of his horns. That's so silly of me. You know, he can make parts of him disappear, so he just made that part disappear. And then this was one of my secret videos. I need to start doing that. I used to have, like, Easter egg videos. Like, when you watch the video, there would be a link somewhere hidden in there to go and see another video. And this was one of them. And I always get requests for drawing dragons, and so I was trying to think about trying to draw like a, an eastern dragon instead of a western dragon, so I was just kind of practicing that out. On a cute puppy dog. I was trying to get a nice cartoon style there. Creepy mermaid. Another unfinished, but just kind of um, idea sketch. This is kind of a girl with butterflies, but I like how I was doing her hair. That's kind of cool. Guys. Then I was trying to draw, design like Disney princesses in different time eras. So this was Snow White in the 1920s. <laughs> okay, so this one was from a tutorial, um, and I did this one as the Clockwork um, Alice that I painted on on wood. Um, so I have a video on that. Some character design sketches. More character design sketches. Another one from the 100 video drawing. More character designs. Cool Rapunzel. She'd be fun to color. Okay, so then I was pushing myself to work on my figure drawing. So uh, what I started doing was every day I would draw for half an hour and I would just draw figures. Not trying to get any detail or anything, but just to draw them out. So this was some of them. And I started drawing in this book and then switched over to another sketchbook. And then just used that to fill it up. Here's my little... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, sketch for the video that I did. Here's some mochi drawings. So that's actually like the um, actual inked in that I scanned that into my computer to color it. And then this one was cute but mochi meh, bled over onto, onto Luke's face but it was a sketch idea for my little chippy Star Wars characters which was pretty cute. Another sketch and I really like this. I don't know why I didn't finish it. This was a card idea. I think I'm going to go back and revisit this idea, but like a deck of cards, um, but with 
Alice in Wonderland themes characters on the different cards. So um, this was the ace and it was going to be Alice in cute little chippy form. And this one's cool too. I didn't finish this one either. <laughs> kind of a girl sitting on a moon with all these little trinkets hanging down with ballet slippers on because that's cool, right? Then I'm beginning to work on my Clockwork Fox. So if you haven't seen that video, that one's in my video library. Um, so I wanted to have this circular shape. Um, so at first I had that one, but that just wasn't working for me. So then we came up with the design that you guys all know from the Clockwork Fox. So that was the original sketch. This one was from the uh, cat carrying a baby in her mouth video. Also, same video. And then a cute little mama and baby. So cute. I love this piece. I don't, she doesn't have a story. Usually they have stories. But I really like how, I don't know, it looks like a window kind of thing. And it's very pretty. It's very Art Nouveau kind of look. So I don't know if I used these for the video on wings or if this was just practicing for the video on wings, but a whole bunch of wing uh, sketches. Oh, this has been a popular one, which I probably will be revisiting this idea. But for the 100 video draw, I did a couple uh, female captain hooks. I did this one and then I redid it as this one. That was fun. So this one I did on like a, like a cardstock brown paper and then I just taped it in here. Some more sketches. So I have a kind of a funny mermaid and then a couple of ponies. Oh, I'm so cute. Don't be sad. Rainbow Dash looks very sad. And just practicing, 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 practicing. So I was getting ready for the foot drawing tutorial and so just practicing tons of feet. As you can see, I think this was the one that I actually did in the video. More feet. Just filling up pages. That's how you learn. Just fill up pages of just drawing feet or hands or whatever. And then a little bit more detailed study on like the shadows and the tendons and things like that. Practicing a little, a little wolf sketch there that never made it past beginning inking. <gasps> a wolf with wings. I think I did that in a tutorial. Oh, so here's where I'm getting into the drawing wings video. Butterfly wings, dragonflies, fairy wings. Oh, here's my meerkat dragon. I think I had you guys put out a challenge to take two characters and mix them together, and you guys came up with a meerkat and a dragon. So, or at least I came up with the dragon, but I asked you guys to come up with another base creature, and you guys came up with meerkat, which was really fun. Which I did a picture of this, and I, uh, I think it's sold already. But yeah, love this piece. So again, this is where sketchbooks are really, really fun. So you'll do a piece. And when you go back through, you'll look at it. And this is just inspiring. Like, I want to now take this idea of a piece and now make a finished piece of it. So I'll put a little post-it note in there after I'm done to go back and revisit that idea. So this is fun. This is a picture of Sailor Moon that I did. And I just decided to redo it. So this was done with the Spectrum Noir um, markers. And then last night, I was inspired to do another drawing. So for some reason, I don't... Sailor Moon's like my go-to gal. So then this drawing is the one that I did with my Copics. And it's just fun to look at the difference between the two and just see, first of all, how I've improved. Because, I mean, this was, you know, almost a year ago. And then this is this year. And then just the difference in the quality of marker, how I was able to blend. Um, so that kind of gives you a good comparison of the two different markers. So these were all done, this was done with Copic and a little bit of ink. And then these were done with just this, the Spectrum Noir with a little bit of color pencil and um, jelly roll as well. So kind of a fun comparison. I'm almost done filling up this book too. So this will probably be my next sketchbook tour. Will be my Copic sketchbook. All right, so here is another costume design. Um, I like to come up with lots of different costumes. It's one of my favorite things to do is design costumes. Whether I need the costume or not, I like to design it. Upside down girl face. This is, oh, this was for my meet and greet when I was in California at VidCon last year. And I had some of the people that were, um, who had come to... Uh, see me at VidCon. We had a little artist get together and a whole bunch of us um, drew together. Super duper fun. And I had everyone who was there to draw a little sketch in my sketchbook. 
um, kind of as a little memento and memory of that. So that's everybody's sketches there. It was so much fun. And that's one that I drew. I think this was with a, a sketch with me video. And here's one with puppy dogs. Just practicing out all the different little drawings. Here's one with horses. I was definitely going through and practicing up some ideas. I love that one. Oh, I can't see it. Hang on. That one turned out really nice. I like the shading and the expression. Mm -hmm. <gasps> little baby Rapunzel girl. I think a little Pascal. Link. I think that was in my 100 video drawing. <laughs> I want to get a ringtone that is Navi from Zelda saying, Hey, listen! And have it be... um. Uh, like my text message thing. I think that would be nice and annoying. I don't know what this is. Yeah, just sketching. She's got like this massive hairdo going on there. Cute little pig drawing. Cute little Donald. I love this Donald. He's so cute. My creeper. It's like he's a creeper there and he's a creeper there because it bled through. A lot of times I'll use a, like a scrap piece of paper to put behind my drawing so that it doesn't move to on my other paper. So that's what that is. So here is some sketches of some different girls with hairdos. I had gotten some new really fine tipped markers, um, ink pens, and so I was practicing those out. Getting close to the end. Here's some faces of some guys. And I love this one. This is so cute. I kind of want to take this out and put it on my wall. <laughs> it's a little, little toddler Snow White. And that was going to be a toddler Merida, but this picture bled over onto it. I wasn't paying attention. So I did. I lost toddler Merida. So I'll have to do her again. And this was an attempt at like just, just drawing just with markers. And, yeah, I got a little frustrated. I had limited myself to just a couple color choices and stuff like that. So, that's okay. But it wasn't what I had in my mind. I really enjoy drawing Snow White. And she's not my favorite Disney princess, but I love her design. Like, the color that she has. Um, she's really fun to draw. So, I have a lot of Snow White drawings throughout. And then that little bled through. And then there's Mavis from Hotel Transylvania. She's a fun character. So now we're getting into Inktober, I think. And so some of these are my ink drawings that I did for Inktober. So this was Jack Skellington, which I love this one. I think this is one of my favorites from Inktober. I did, I was really hungry that day. So I drew a really delicious ice cream with chocolate stuff with cream in and cherry on top. I tried to make it look artsy. That was an attempt, a failed attempt. So there's a little teddy bear. And then this one I took off of a coloring book page that someone, someone had given me one of those really fun coloring books. And so I had that one. I was like, oh, that's so cute. I want to try to draw that. So I drew it. So if you have that coloring book, you probably recognize that coloring book page. Um, another Inktober. Not all your Inktobers have to be awesome. This one, not so awesome. Okay, that's a pretty cool dragon. Uh, these were, I was just, I had gotten a, uh, the Pentel brush pen, so I was kind of just doing some swipes with it to try to figure out what it was. <gasps> Look, there's baby elephants in there. And then here is my doodled um, pumpkin. So there's like a whole bunch of things, like there's turkeys here, I guess. There's a cat over here, and I think the rest are just random patterns left off on the sketchbook goes working in other sketchbooks and then came back to the sketchbook to try to finish it off so now these are sketch designs for um, my Alice in Wonderland steampunk um, coloring book so these are all just sketches that are going to be I uh, just ideas for it so you might see this actual as a pose or not I don't know you just kind of sketch a whole bunch of things and hope you come up with something and I think that's it there's a couple pages I always leave like 10 pages in the back of each of my sketchbook. You read bubble sticker. I think it's just in case like the zombie apocalypse comes and I run out of paper, then I always know that if I have an old sketchbook, there's always 10 pages in the back. So, <laughs> well, there you go. There is my sketchbook tour um, from this last year's sketchings. Um, yeah, it's always fun to kind of see what people sketch. It's kind of, you know, 
works in progress, mess ups, some really fun pieces, but I always find it encouraging to look at other artists' sketchbooks as well. So if you enjoyed this one, I'll put a link to my previous sketchbook tours uh, videos. Um, I guess I can make a playlist now that I have more than one. So yeah, and until next time, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!